I was a bit surprised after a friend of mine showed me this ice on Granny Mate 2 console. You can only find it in the console. They don't appear in the on PC version. You will find them in my show file. I will show the next step to programming a meter server within the Granny Mate 2 and in the end how to cleverly clean up your show file with a macro. In the description under this video you will find the link to download this show file including the video content. The video pad is not yet inside. If you have downloaded the show file, please save it on a USB stick within the Grand MA folder structure. GMA2 shows. When I loading a show file, I will click on check all to load all relevant information into the desk. First, I like to check the user. Feed startup, that's fine. From now on, I will program step by step my media player. For output, I will choose layout view 5. That means that later all fixtures I stored in layout 5 will react on my video pad. As shown in the video Media Server Inside Granny Mate 2, I already patched 8 bitmap fixtures. On screen 2, there is the video view. Here I have saved the fixtures as groups and already prepared the most necessary presets. If you like to use different colors for coloring the content later, you have every time be disciplined with your presets. For the media server, I need sequences. On screen 3, there is a few pools and within the sequence pool, I create 6 sequences which I located from the memory 1000. If I clean up my show file later, to prepare it for a new show, I will delete all sequences under 1000. Over 1000, all sequences will be transferred to the new show. I will label the sequences for bitmap 1. Behind the few playbacks, I find the layer dummies. There I will assign my sequences on playback page 66. Now I will fill them up with life. Bitmap 1 at 100. Output Layout View 5. I will store this into Sequence Intensity Q1. Bitmap 1 at 0. Output Layout View 5. into the same sequence as second queue. I will label the queues. To color black and white videos with different colors, I have to program the color sequences selectively. For that, I set a filter. For the color one filter, I right click in the filter pool. Here I can select the parameters which should be saved. First, I will turn off all, and then I activate only the parameters color information and for the video mode only VP1. Ready. Now I will start with color 1. Bitmap 1 get the preset open white. VP1 will get 1 because 1 is the preset number for the color open white inside of the color presets. Important! Now I have to activate my color 1 filter. Store into sequence color 1 Q1. Second color. I choose red and for VP1 the number 3 for the third color preset. And don't forget the filter. This information goes into the next queue. 
I will go on for all the other colors till I have 10 inside my queue lists. And don't forget to use the filter. Again, I label the queue list. Next, I need a filter for the second color. Here, I only need Mode and VP2. For the second color, I choose my bitmap 1 again. That's a mode to Color Presets, VP2 at 1 for the color Open White, and activate my filter, though that the values VP1 get not saved. This will be stored into sequence color 2. Second color, mode on, color preset, VP2 on 3 for red, and important, the filter have to be activated. Sequence color 2, also for all 10 colors, and don't forget to label. The next parameter will be speed. First, 25%. Then, 50%. And so on. The last queue I will store with Speedmaster 10. From now on, this will be my video Speedmaster. The same for rotation. In rotation, the Z axis is the only one we needed. In the end, it looks like this. Now, the most interesting part the content. How to import videos was shown in the Granimate 2 tutorial Media Server Inside Granimate 2. I will select my fixture, choose my image. and will store this into my first content queue. This I will do with the next 20 videos. In the end, it looks like this. I will check this out. I minimize my action pad and assign my layout pool. And bring up the layout view sheet. I already patched a group of RGP fixtures. How this works and what to note has already been described in the tutorial Media Server Inside Granimate 2. Remember that I stored this bitmap for layout number 5. Looks fine. If I like to use the two colors mode, it is necessary to give a dimmer value to the RGB fixtures and also the color presets for them have to be stored correctly into the preset pool. Please do not blame me, but I will explain in the next tutorial how to create a nice user interface into the layout view. On this point, I would like to tell you something about the startup show, because the whole programming does not make any sense if I have to do this again and again. For a new event, I load my last show file and clean it up. So I have all my presets, views, effects, macros and helping queue lists. On screen 1, at user 1, is the view macro pool, divided into three areas. Macros I use during the programming, macros for setup, 
and macros there temporarily just for the actual show. At the area setup is a macro called shutdown to default show. After two security questions, you also have enough time to abort this, all sequences till 999 will be deleted, all not needed presets and all groups till 999 will be deleted and also all temporarily macros. All effects will be keeping for the next show, so the show file will grow. After I open the patch, I can start with them programming a new show. At the next tutorial, we will go on with the media server and you will get the download for all necessary buttons. I'm Fietz, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like, leave some commands below.